Thank you for watching Indigenous Children's Storytime. We also thank you for supporting our channel by love offerings and sharing with your friends and family. Share, 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 and share some more. Sharing is caring. Make sure you hit the like button. It's 100% free. All story times are dedicated to my four amazing sons, unjustly, unlawfully, legally kidnapped by the corrupt child trafficking CPS, Child Protective Services. This story time is dedicated to my sons, Nazi, misidentified as Jackson, Omni, misidentified as Joshua, Maji, misidentified as Theodore, and Adrael. Mommy loves you so much more than words can express. If anyone tells you any different, don't believe them and don't ever trust them again. Mommy loves you and I want you to know that. I want you to believe that and I want you to trust that. I do love you. Book coming soon, Little Nazi the Great goes for a walk with mommy, the autogenous, indigenous baby that didn't know how great he is. Now to today's book. Peaceful greetings and welcome back to Indigenous Children's Storytime. We are here again with another great book. Today we're going to be reading Armor to Venom, Animal Defenses by Phyllis J. Perry. Chapter 2 Avoiding the Enemy Avoiding the Enemy When you think of animals' defenses, you probably think of horns, hooves, sharp teeth, and claws. While these weapons are useful, many animals protect themselves by avoiding their enemies. To save itself, an animal may hide, go underground, or try to make a fast getaway. Out of sight, out of mind. Some animals have coloring that allows them to blend in with their surroundings. The liching caddy did is almost invisible against a tree trunk while the green tree toad matches surrounding branches and leaves. The arctic lemon shreds its brown summer fur for a white coat as winter approaches. So its camouflage changes by the season. That's cool. Some creatures rely on their spotted or striped coloration for protection. The fur of young deer is dappled with spots that resemble sunlight and shadows. When these deer stand still, they blend in with the forest underbrush. The speckled feathers of some birds make them nearly invisible among leaves or tall grass. Some birds also have an eye strip, which helps conceal their eyes. Then there are great pretenders. These include the batfish and the kilima butterfly. Both look just like leaves. Some harmless insects mimic wasps or bees so that predators will confuse them with stinging insects.
going undercover. Some animals protect themselves by living part of their lives underground. A snake called the side winding adder can sink into the sand in seconds. A trapdoor spider lifts the silk hinged door of its burrow and comes out only to catch prey of its own. European badgers live in underground towns called sets. A set is and has at least two entrances. A network of tunnels leads to the nursery and sleeping chambers. Badgers sleep during the day and come out at night to hunt for food. When it chases, when chased by an enemy, a badger will duck down into one of its tunnels and fiercely threaten the predator with its teeth and claws. If a rabbit is lucky, it can dodge a hungry fox long enough to reach its burrow, dive in and disappear below the earth. When a prairie dog hears a warning bark from another member of its colony, it rushes underground. Moles use their shovel-like front feet to build their burrows. They can dig a 12-foot, 3.7-millimeter tunnel in a single hour. Wow, that's pretty fast. If threatened on one of their rare trips above ground, moles quickly disappear into their maze of branching tunnels. Beavers and muskrats build lodges with underwater entrances. That's cool. That's really cool. The den that otters dig in riverbanks have underwater back doors that act as emergency exits. Can you guys see? There we go. Run for your life. If hiding and burrowing fails, a threatened animal may try to make a fast getaway the amazing bowslick lizard drops from a riverside tree, runs. Ooh, that looks cool. It looks like he's running on water. He's, he's running on water. On the top, do you see that lizard? Wow, that's cool. And runs on water. It loses speed and then swims away. A flying squirrel avoids a pursuing marten by gliding from one tree to another. Using their long, slender, muscular legs, animals like antelope, impalas, and gazelles can run like the wind. They often run in a zigzag path, making them harder to catch. Mountain goats and sheep run with sure-footed skilled among towering cliffs. Kangaroos and rabbits are strong, agile hoppers. Do you like to hop? Yeah, I used to love to hop. That was like one of my favorites. Most birds can fly away from their enemies. A few, like the ostrich and the roadrunner, run to escape from their predators. An adult ostrich can easily outrun a lion. Woo, that's pretty quick. A roadrunner can run as fast as 20 miles per hour. That is 32 kilometers per hour. That's pretty interesting. I did not know that. The end. Thank you for watching our Indigenous Children's Story Time. See you in the next story time. Make sure you check out Sign Alphabet Learning Upper and Lower Case Print and Cursive Letters with Corresponding Animals, ASL. Everyone loves the spotted 
Jaguar, so make sure you watch that video next. Standing on the shoulders of giants. In black and white on all merch. And hand painted by you in your choice of colors. Hold up, I ain't with that. Devil try to get his leg back. Pull up, ew, spin.